cracking. It's your man Lecrae, aka Crazy Crayola, the bond servant. Right now, you're listening to the track stars, Ryan Righteous, Sean Tanner, and Jeremiah. I see you, boy. Hold it down. Yeah. 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 But. What? What? <laughs> All what? I just said. I talk to you on What? What? Behind the scenes, what you were just talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, because I'm, I'm thinking real quick. Paul said, um, follow me as I follow Christ. Yeah, that's oh, Okay. Awesome. But you still say pride. We gonna get a camera in this piece. <laughs> so, that was interesting what you just did. Um, I think people are like, yo, what are they talking about? All right. We got a surprise for you. We're doing another Noteworthy. Like Just I said, two. these, these yeah. are, they getting serious, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Bread people and got, butter. People got some stuff. Um, all right, here we go. This one is called, The Life I Want is Wrong. I know that the life I want is wrong. I grew up in the church and I know God, but I am a homosexual. I don't believe homosexuality is of God, but at the same time, I don't know how to change my feelings about my sexual preference. I have not acted on my feelings, but I want to. Man, God has been so good to me. Good job, no wants, but it's true that money does not buy happiness. Am I destined to be alone for the rest of my life? Is there any hope for me and another woman? I want a family, but I don't want a wo- boy. Mm, that's deep. I want a family, but I don't want a wife, nor would I ever want to betray anyone in lieu of my true feelings. What is out there for me? How do I change the way I feel? How can I be happy and in God's will at the same time? Yeah. The life that I want is wrong. What do y'all think? My mind's gonna be that, um, <laughs> that last line is like <coughs> huge. Yes. Huge. How can I be happy and in God's will at the same time? The pursuit of happiness. Yeah. And I mean, I hate to say this, but it's the truth. Like, happiness is not guaranteed um, as it relates to being a believer and following Christ and, 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 and following his will. Joy. There's definitely joy. Um, but that whole happiness element is not always guaranteed. Um, first off, again, thank you for keeping it real. And thank you for... Um, um, yeah, just for, for being real, I genuinely believe, though, that God has honored the fact that in the midst of your desires, you haven't acted upon them out of respect for his word and wanting to please him. That's huge. Um, my question, I guess, is do you feel like you have a relationship with God? Um, like where you connect with him on the daily, you commune with him, you take in his word. Like, do you feel like you have a relationship with him? Um, because it's this this that you're talking about right here it's real and i mean he already knows what's going on on the inside of you but you being genuine about where you are with him i think will help um because at the end of the day you can't change how you feel only god can but you have to trust him um with those feelings by operating in obedience to his word and so um you know i i definitely would say you know continue on the path that you are as far as desiring to honor his word over how you feel but be real with them be real with him if you have to wrestle with them about you know um wanting something that goes against his word i mean paul did that very thing in romans you know where he was going in just talking about what he wants or or what he um doesn't want to do he does you know and vice versa so i mean like literally go there because nothing should be off limits in your relationship with god but you're gonna have to trust him with that um with that emotion and with that feeling what if he said you know, why did God give me those desires? I can't hear nothing you're saying, but... What if God, <laughs> why did God give me those desires? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what, what would y'all say to him? What would we say to him? Yeah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I think, okay, this is what, this is what we're going to do. Obviously, if we wanted to be popular, we wouldn't be talking about homosexuality, because that is suicide. Um, <laughs> so we obviously don't care about that and I know what I'm going to say is not going to fly well especially if years down the line I want to run for president or something they're going to pull this back up yeah. but that's cool I don't care I resign ahead of time <laughs> um, okay I think the thing that sticks out one is what Maya said this whole pursuit of happiness people thinking that happiness is a guarantee as a Christian um, and it's not but the other thing that sticks out to me, and I've been I've been mulling over this for a while, because I don't want to say anything, because I don't have this temptation, so I don't want to come off 
um, insensitive. I don't know if you remember, I did a, a piece at um, Expressions a few years ago called what if, um, what if Gay Was Straight and Straight Was Gay? Wow, Basically yeah. telling people to be yeah. sensitive because if you found out that the way you were living was wrong and somebody said being straight is a sin and you had to be gay, mm -hmm. how hard would it be for you yeah. to now yeah. have a gay relationship if God said that's what you needed to yeah. do? It would be very difficult for you to, to do what we're mm -hmm. asking them to do. Mm -hmm. So that's that's one piece secondly though i think <laughs> i think everybody understands that there's an agenda going on whether you agree with it or you don't um we talked about a lot on the show that there's a um lgbt blah, 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 what's the letters yeah lesbian gay bisexual or trans yeah there's there's a um there's a uh, agenda and they're pretty successful getting the the culture to accept homosexuality as, mm -hmm. as standard and, and rights and all that stuff and that's not what we're talking about here but I do think where they've succeeded, but I think is a lie, is that they have made it seem as if being gay is a thing that you are instead of something that you do. And I think that's the core of the problem. Um, and, I, and this may freak people out, but I think the lie is on both sides. They're lying to people saying that if you have homosexual feelings, or you are tempted with homosexuality, then you are gay. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, then you're not gay. So they separate the two things mm -hmm. versus it being a sin and anyone can be tempted by that sin, not just gay people. And I, I think that's 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 the issue I'm seeing because somebody may may um, be growing up and they may have, you know, people may call them soft or they may call them, you know, feminine or this and that. And if you hear that over and over again and you entertain those thoughts in your mind and you may have one of those temptations come, you will think, oh, that must mean I'm gay versus I'm being tempted right now with a sin and I need to stay away from the sin. I think people think, oh, I'm not gay. I can't be tempted with that sin. And I think that's a lie. I think anybody could be tempted with Absolutely. that sin. Just like you could be tempted with uh, alcoholism, being drunk. You'd be tempted with premarital sex, adultery. You're not immune to homosexuality. Nobody is. And I think that's a lie. They, pe they want people to think that you're born with it or you're not born with it. And if you're born with it, you that's who you are. If you're not born with it, that's not you. Mm -hmm. I think we got to kill that. Nobody is immune from any sin. None. The only thing is, what I do believe is that you're born with some propensities towards some mm -hmm. sins based on family issues, what you're taught, yeah. you know, things like that. So, and that's not just homosexuality. That's anything. So I think that lie needs to be killed. Because even I think Christians have bought into that lie that, oh, I'm gay or I'm not gay. And I, I think being gay is... We have to stop calling it a thing. It's not a thing. They made it into a thing. They branded gay, but it's not. It's a sin. It's an action. And if if I commit a homosexual act, or if I get drunk, or if I kill someone, or if I do this, it's a, it, it doesn't make me the thing that I did. Mm -hmm. It means that I need to repent from it and turn back around and live the godly life that God has for me. Mm -hmm. So don't... If you're having these temptations, I think the mistake starts from the beginning you are not gay you're you're not gay mm -hmm. you are being tempted with homosexual thoughts you're being tempted with sin mm -hmm. so you need the power of god to help you stay away from that sin the same way i need the power of god to not have sex before marriage mm -hmm. and everybody needs to and i now i need it to not cheat on my wife mm -hmm. and you need it to not get drunk and you mm -hmm. need it to do this whatever it is that you struggle with the most that's that's your that's your fight to fight yeah, yeah. and i think the lie and i've seen it happen with too many people my friends people that i grew up with have have dealt with this mm -hmm. and they i remember there was always a point where they said i fought it i fought it and then i just realized i'm gay mm -hmm. i'm like no you're not you're not mm -hmm. i understand you're doing homosexual activity that mm -hmm. it's a it's an act it's not a thing mm -hmm. i think if we if we clear that i think it would change the whole framework i think that's a lie we need to kill that so that's that's the lie that you're saying is that it's not it's an act versus a lifestyle i believe that i think it's been branded as a lifestyle and we <laughs> bought into it yeah i don't i if if somebody was drunk if maya was uh, got drunk all the time i wouldn't i wouldn't think it was right to call her a drunk 
I would say that Maya is falling to drunkenness. She's sinning, but she is not the sin. God loves Maya. He doesn't like what Maya is doing. God loves you. He doesn't like what you're doing. You're not the thing that you're doing. Yeah. And you need to separate those two things. Mm -hmm. Turn away from your sin. Mm -hmm. You don't have to turn away from who you are. You you are a child of God. For them, it's based on the lifestyle. Right. You know what I mean? So they don't see it no other way. They don't see it as, as a sin. They, cause that's why the whole, the whole thing with Chris Broussard is like, you're you're talking about my lifestyle. You're not talking about yeah. um, like I've stolen something or um, I'm lying. You're talking about my identity. That's what they see. Right. And I so, think yeah. Okay. It's if, been if you made an identity though. If you, yeah. And and that that's my point of view. I I don't believe that being gay is a thing. Mm -hmm. that, that's my point of view. Yeah. That's Sean talking. Now, if you do believe it is, and you believe you are born with this, this, mm -hmm. this, these feelings, and and mm -hmm. they are hardwired into your body, then it goes back to what Maya said. Let's say you're right about that. If you, if you're a follower of Jesus, not just a Christian, because a lot of people call themselves Christians, but if you're really a follower of Jesus, and you and you read the Bible and you trust the Bible, because that, that's I'm cutting people away, because I'm not <laughs> talking to anybody who's not saying yes to any of those things. Because I don't, I don't necessarily care about you right now. But if you're somebody who says, I'm all in to this. I believe all of it. You have to read what it says. And it says in the Bible, not in Sean's Bible, in <laughs> your Bible. It says that it's very clear, not just in the Old Testament, not just in Leviticus, in Romans, in, in all throughout the New Testament. There's areas that speak about homosexual activity. You have to decide for yourself, would God want me to do this or not? If you do that, you have to say, even if I'm not happy, will I do this? Yeah, and let me ask, or let me just share this. There are people that are struggling um, with wanting to have premarital sex or wanting to get married and believe in God for a spouse, period, that have to answer the same question. Where basically, if it never happens, mm -hmm. is Jesus more than enough? Yeah. Like literally, there's a song by Chris Tomlin, Tomlin called Enough that I think of all the time. And it's a great heart check because you really do have to ask yourself, is all of him more than enough for us? Like literally, you know, that's that's the goal that should be the case, but it isn't all the time. And so I would just ask yourself that. And it's OK if it's not right now. Be real. Be real with yourself and be real with God about that and trust him to meet every single need you have whether it's a homose homosexual desire a premarital sex desire an alcohol desire whatever because nothing is exempt as it relates to that yeah um man I, I, and and i'm gonna i'm gonna